Welcome back to another video. My name is SMG Aaron, and today we're we'll playing some more FIFA 23, the World Cup. Who will lift the trophy? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I think we'll have to find out. And let's just start a match. It's episode two on who will lift the trophy. Um, comment down below. Who do you guys think will lift the trophy? This is the scene here at the Lusale Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And two games in the books already for these two sides. This, their final group stage test. It's Croatia, and they take on Belgium. Cheers, Derek. Well, it's been a tough group for them, and unfortunately, they haven't played with enough quality. Let's hope we see them play better today, especially for these fans. That will be a free kick. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And up front, it's the Croatian international, Andrej Kramaric. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. And in attack, Aidan Azar starts alongside Romelu Lukaku. This looks more than decent. Good defending in the end and danger averted for now. Lukaku. And it might be. And yes! It's the first goal of this match. Let's go. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. So underway again here, one nil to score. It's with Pasharic. And an astute piece of defending. Plenty of options. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Takes the shot! Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. Carrasco. Well, as you can see, Belgium haven't enjoyed the majority of possession so far, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy with the... Can he take advantage? It's yes, I actually could. see just how good this goal is it has everything skill pace and power there was no stopping in there two nil now and back on the way well the timing was perfect ball one Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming.
Lukaku. An effective challenge. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Azar. Yeah, I need to work on my skills on FIFA. I don't have any skills in FIFA, but I need to work on, like, you know. To... I think I'm. I think I'm. Uh, I don't need to work on my shooting, defending. Kind of do need to work on that. Um. Let's see. Um. Juking is something I really need to work on because this game is about juke. If you don't already know. Uh. Josip Juranovic. Mario Pasalic. Slip shot passing. No. They really tried tackling me. Regain possession. to the final half hour. Flamerich. Well, a shame that he could have the target from there. Time for I think Bodo still have, like, one more goal to catch up, so they have some catch up to do. But they're good. Amadou Onana. A bit of pressing. He's lost possession, being egged on by the crowd. You could almost hear the fans telling him to shoot, and he obliged. Well, he was absolutely right to take the shot on, and it was a decent effort as well, but it just creeps past the woodwork. That's crazy. In real games, the ball can actually hit you. Under a fair bit of pressure. Could pull one back here. And the keeper more than equal to oh, I didn't touch it. 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 Well, okay. You know what? Doesn't matter. Okay. Can he find someone at the far post? Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Chris forward in the second half. Before the second half? Come on. Come on. We got it. I guess we got it. Let's go. Actually, freaking go. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. I don't blame him being like a football goalkeeper or player is hard. Too hard, actually. Juranovic. Now uh, Brozovic. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the you know what? For this game, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna do a challenge for them that they like. I don't want Chris to even go once in this game. That's what I'm gonna do. And they will make the change now. Let's see if I can do that. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. <laughs> Lukaku. Will he find the net? And under pressure, that was a fine play. Okay, two more, two more minutes, okay. Good. And there it is. That will do nicely for Belgium. They prevailed in this game. And Stuart, as always, keen to get your analysis. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
Romelu Lukaku does know how to take a game by the scruff of the neck. What would be your verdict on his performance? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. So we won. Easy dub. I gotta see what mode I'm on. I feel like that was like too easy. Okay. Very freaking good. I'm on semi pro. Well, let's put that up one more, you know. What if it. It's, you know, like, too hard. I might have to turn a little bit down. I'm not professional at this game. But I try, you know. I try. Let's try one professional game. I was actually trying to win this game. A place in the round of Jesus. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lucille Stadium, just to the north of the Doha City Centre. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And two games in the books already for these two sides. This, their final group stage test. It's Costa Rica versus Germany. Well, thanks, Derek. This won't be easy, but a win here, and they will be through to the knockout stages. If they perform at their best, I think they will get the three points that they need. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Promising move from Germany. Crossing opportunity. Committed challenge. Müller. And Havertz. Giving it a try. And still danger here. And a time for calm on the ball. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Moving forward effectively. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And the alarm bells are ringing. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. Really good high press. Okay, we're doing horrible right now. Oh, okay, yeah, we're definitely doing... We're, we lost. We lost. taken off of him, he's made the wrong decision and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net terrible defending and the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Kimmich on to Goretzka and Müller has it now. It's a promising position, you've got to say. And effectively parried away by the keeper. Campbell. Well, he's lost the ball. Goretzka. Difficult to stop him. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna end this match a little early because you know we like professional mode is yeah, it's not like I'm not ready for it yet, but world class in your ultimate. Okay, we're gonna go to semi pro. And just gonna do a quick sim real quick. Of course Portugal one. Okay. So now let's actually play a real match against Brazil. This should be interesting. Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Alvite Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And the group stage action has been pulsating up to this point. This is the final game of the group for these two sets of players. What might we see today, Stuart? Cheers, Derek. Well, it's been a tough group for them, and unfortunately, they haven't played with enough quality. Let's hope we see them play better today, especially for these fans. Determined defending. Plenty of support here. Can he give them the advantage? And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the noted goal. Alexandro plays with Danilo in the fullback positions. Casemiro plays with Fred in central midfield. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Neymar. Abubakar, well, he's lost it. Fred. Well, they keep the ball moving. Really bad interception here. Abubakar. Again, they couldn't keep it. Danilo. A foul play, says the referee. Perfectly positioned to take it away. to have regained possession. Well, Brazil have bossed the possession, as you can see. But unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. Yes, it's a matter of trying to break them down. Neymar! Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. And he's given us away. <laughs> Committed challenge. Vinicius Junior. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, here's the truth of the matter. Struggles galore for Nate. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Textbook defending inside the box.
away. Carl Toko Ekambi with it. He's in here. Terrific save. Well, that's a top class save. He read it so well. Yeah. We were so freaking close to doing that. Well, he couldn't pick out a teammate inside the box. Alexandro. Fred. Paqueta. Still passing it around with authority. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Opportunity it is. And it's come off the keeper. Right over for now, it seems. No good scores this match, literally. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Rafinha. Danilo. And that's an important intervention. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Thank God. I'd rather no one make it than the enemy team um, team score. Whoa. Yeah, Brazil doesn't go easy. It's really sad that they lost the World Cup. You know. Great pressure to win the ball back. Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Going for oh. Brazil. And time for the change now. Marquinhos. And they have possession again. Oh, I messed up real bad. Oh, okay. My chance. Now's my chance to finally get a goal. It is a decent looking attack here. Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a stalemate. Stuart, what did you make of it all? Well, yes, Derek, probably not the best game. I don't think either team played to their full potential. The final ball was often lacking, and the chop. And so the match is underway. Yes, it's a matter of trying to break them down. Neymar! Disappointing just when it looked like a short Okay guys, sorry about that, but the uh, teams have been knocked out of the competition Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Camera uh, I can't read that and uh, Republic. So I'm gonna leave it off here and Yeah guys, um this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and actually you don't have to subscribe just subscribe to anyone who you want like come on you don't have to subscribe it's not like we're forcing you not like i'm begging for it like uh, okay just subscribe I can't